upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. I'll be kicking in your chamber door in a minute, you old hag. It's blowing a gale out here. Oh, I might have guessed it, you aqua. You'll have to forgive me, my little guardian of the sacred fire, but the fact was I, I was nearly napping, and so gently you came tapping, and so faintly you came rapping, rapping at my chamber door that... I scarce be sure I heard you. Here I open, wipe the door. Here I open, wipe the door. I'm just waiting for a creak. <laughs> <laughs> Here I open, wipe the door. <laughs> It's a mini disc for next time, the mini disc. Hack were there and nothing more. I need another creak here, so I'll just do that. Now. <laughs> oh, you'll have to excuse me, it's this homemade soup. Marvellous for the digestive system, but I, uh, I wouldn't stand too close for a moment or two. Actually, it smells quite, quite appetising, my dear. Well, would you like to try it later? Would you mind if I did? No, I'll just keep the air out of your face. Excuse me. Oh, oh, I'll just come on, lift it up and lift it up. It certainly has a distinctive flavour. Try some more. Yes. Why, yes, it's delicious, my darling. What is the recipe? You must tell me what's in it. Well, let me see now. There's fillet of fenny snake. Oh, yes. Wrap that in tin foil with a dash of lemon juice and pop it in the oven whilst oh. you warm a little oil in the bottom of the cold. I have newt. Well, I have newt granules. Really? I wouldn't have known. <laughs> yes, then you toss in your toe frog full of batting dog's tongue. When they're sizzling away nicely, add your agus fork and blind worms thing. The packet mix. Oh no, too dry. Charlotte's do a little jar and paste. Don't do they really feel? Lizard's leg? Yes, bone and dice your lizard's leg. Bung that in with a little bit of Howlett's wing. Howlett's wing, yes, always Howlett's oh, wing. Oh, you need a bit of Howlett's wing for a charm of powerful trouble. It's like a kind of a, a hell broth. Yes, boil and bubble on the hob for 30 minutes. Take your fillet of penny out of the oven and throw that in. Um, add a dash of Tabasco, um, scale of dragon, wolf's tooth puree, and the liver of a blaspheming Jew, just to give it that little bit of time. <laughs> Fantastic. No ball of goat? No. Nose of turk? No, no nose of turk. Tartar's lips? I'm sure I detected a hint of tartar's lips. No, but I, I did try to pick up some baboon's blood, you know, just to call it. Yes. Would you believe it? Sainsbury's don't do it anymore. <laughs> well, they had witch's mummy in Tesco's, but it's so pricey for what it is, and I'm not over keen on it anyway. I know, darling, and I don't think it needs it anyway. Besides, the bandages get stuck between your teeth anyway. True, 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 mm. true. true. Mm. Let me just say, yes. my little aloe vera, mistress yes. of the dark, that you look fabulous. Well, right, thank you, my sorceress. You look like you've had a makeover by a mortician. I <laughs> queen of the Sabbath at this year's Black Mass. Of course. Tonight is Wild Purgis Night. One of the highlights of the witching calendar. I suppose you're off to your coven. Indeed I am. Well, there's nothing quite like sitting around with a bunch of hysterical crones. <laughs> Actually, Maxine, I've, uh, I've got a bit of a favour to ask you in that department. Oh, don't tell me. You want to borrow my broomstick? No, Maxine. Witchcraft has moved with the times, you know. You're so old-fashioned. We don't all wear hats like traffic cones and cackle about on broomsticks, you know. No, you squeak about on that rusty old bark of yours. <laughs> that contraption is a potential death trap. Or live in confectionery huts and keep small children in the oven. No, I suppose nowadays you buy pre-packed, freeze-dried, genetically modified kits and pop them in the microwave. <laughs> Make yourself lucky, Aqua. A few years ago, you would have been burnt at the stake after a quick ducking. Look, Maxine, we're in a bit of a spot. Bessie Dun Dunlop's forgotten to re renew the lease on her soul with the devil. <laughs> well, there are only 12 of us. We need 13. I see. I wouldn't normally ask, only the Grand Master's coming to give a supernumerary breast inspection. Sorry, my love. Well, didn't you know? All witches have at least three tits. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. 
Isabel Jolbon has got one on each knee. <laughs> and I'm propagating an extra teetop of big toe, you know, to give suck to my familiars. <laughs> Before I agree to come along, what precisely goes on at these meetings of yours? No, oh, nothing very exciting, really. First we strip off naked and gather round a sacred tree at the full moon. Right, go on. Oh, it's all perfectly harmless, really. We, uh, we, uh, dance, howl unintelligibly like dogs, shout a few nonsense rhymes, and to finish off with, you know, we tear a black lamb to pieces to summon the dead. Oh, all right, just twisting my arm. I'll come along. Doesn't sound any more diabolical than my head knife. <laughs> <laughs>